Hello, my name is Johannes Dizou. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export data into different file formats. For example, if I have uh, a stuff table here, I would like to actually export this into uh, different file formats. I will be able to go to external data, and on the export section, I can actually export in Microsoft Excel. I can browse the location where I would like to export the data for the desktop, then name it appropriately, and then click Save. Then I'm going to select Export Data with Formatting and Layout, and then Open Destination after Export. Click OK. So I have now managed to export the Excel document. So I'll just size up the window here. So I have exported the data into a Microsoft Excel. I'm going to close this now. Close this. Now, if it's uh, a report, I can open the report. And then I can actually go to export. And export into a Word document. Open the destination folder. I'm going to export it into, uh, onto my desktop. OK. So as you can see here. I've got a report exported in a Word document. Uh, it displayed the date and one record. As I only have one record on this table. Okay, on this uh, sorry report. So if we go to the site, uh, okay. And if we go to let's create the report. So we go to Products table, receipt stuff. Let's create a report on receipt on the sorry on staff students. Uh, let's create a report on site. Have quite a lot of data here, so I can actually go to create and select report. So I've got a report here. I will save this. And call it RPT RPT site. I'm now going to uh, select Excel data and export this. I can export it as uh, HTML. Okay. So it opens in uh, Notepad. So if I close this. Here, so if I open with Internet and not use Internet Explorer, okay, I will be able to see that uh, the data has been exported, uh, and then I will be able to convert this into maybe P PDF. So if you have uh, export as PDF as well. Uh, you can also do this in Microsoft Access, so we can drop down the list. Um, if you are using a college computer, you will be able to actually export this as PDF when you select more on the list the option. I'll select desktop. I'm just going to call it 2 because I already have a PDF. So as you can see, did a better job so you have the whole layout so your report looks professional the reason why we export uh, the report as a PDF is so we can actually upload the report onto a website uh, where our visitors or our clients can actually download uh, some of the information or another reason is uh, if the client does not have uh, Microsoft Access, you can export the information as PDF, and they can download the Adobe Reader for free, and they can actually see the content. If they do not, if they don't have a PDF, or if they would like to edit some of the information, they can export the report. You can export the report as a Microsoft Word document, 
where you will be able then as a as a user the users will be able to actually go there let's minimize this the, the user will be able to go there and make any editing that is necessary uh, so they can actually make the headers uh, bold underline and so on uh, that can change the page layout the orientation to landscape so they can actually see the whole content and so on so there's many benefits to export the data uh, as a different file formats your task is to export uh, at least one report uh, and one table in uh, diff three different file formats try to use different ones so you have the excel pdf word text okay notepad so an advantage to export as a notepad is just in case if the end user does not have microsoft access or pdf uh, or no access to the internet you know so they can actually to download adobe reader they can actually have an, an editor there so they can save the data easily and as you can see here there's a lot more options like html xml uh, snapshot viewer or another database export for another microsoft access database uh, thank you for watching i hope you will be able to complete your task fairly quickly speak to you soon